Hello again everyone. So I hope you are all having a good day. So let's proceed to our next lesson which is the sum of years digit method which is another um depreciation methods. So I think this is the third one. Okay, so for today sum of years digit method the definition for that is it is a method of evaluating where the depreciation charge varies from year to year. So now uh, that the depreciation per year now are not equal or not is not constant anymore. It will vary depending on the year. Okay, so let's proceed to our sample problem. So we will do, of course, again, the first method or the long method or what I like to call it the table method. <clears throat> so we have the question, uh, an equipment bought by an engineer cost 250000 and the salvage value is 25000 after 5 years. Okay, so we are asked to find pretty much everything. So that is find the total depreciation, find the depreciation every year, find the book value every year. Okay, so we will have now. Um, let's try to put all the givens first. Uh, so we have the given which is. Um, we have C O. Okay, C O is two hundred fifty thousand, and then we have C L, which is a salvage value of twenty five thousand. And then we have the L or the useful life, which is equal to 5 years. Uh, in line with that, I also discuss again the symbols that I will be using. So CO is the original, original cost. CL is of course the salvage value. And then CN is the book value at year N. Um, BN will be the total depreciation at year end, and then D will be the depreciation at year end. What else? Of course, N will be the years, and then L is the useful, uh, useful life, uh, and is that it? Mm -hmm. I think that's it. That's everything. Okay, so this will be the uh, symbols that I will be using. Okay, so we already have the given, and then let's do that table method. So the sum of years is uh, really different compared to the other the other two, which is the straight line method and the sinking fund method. Because instead of starting from zero, your present now will be your one or the year one. Okay, so you'll have here one. And then, of course, this will be 2, 3, 4, and then 5. That's it. And then next, so uh, the last year will be 5 because the salvage or the useful life is only 5 years. Now, um, computing for the uh, depreciation base. Okay, so I will write a formula for that. So for the depreciation base, we will have a formula for this one. This is simply... um. The total depreciation all throughout the year. So this is CO minus CL. Okay. So that is simply um, 25,000 minus 25K. So that is just uh, 225K. So this is 225. I think I can just um, write it. That is 225K. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Two hundred twenty-five k, and then let's copy that one. Copy it here. Copy. So that will be all two hundred and twenty-five k. No matter what year it is. Okay. And then for the remaining life, uh, the remaining life, as uh, as I said earlier, your year one will be your present. Therefore, your remaining life is really the remaining life of the product that you bought. Of course, if year one will be year zero, the remaining life of your product is still you still have five years, okay? And then, uh, and then this will be four, this will be three, two, and then one. That's what uh, that is the uh, the only thing that is different or somehow new compared to the sinking fund and the straight line 
method. Okay. So for the depreciation fraction, that will be simply the remaining life or RL, that is RL all over SOY. Now what is SOY? Now remember that SOY is simply the S, uh, sum of years sum of years or SOY. Okay. So what is SOY? This is this is uh, really simple. If the salvage value is 5, therefore sum of years will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Okay? Then if the if the useful life is let's say 3, therefore sum of years is just 1 plus 2 plus 3. It is simply the summation of all the years. Okay? So um, if you want a formula, there's a formula for that simply the formula for SOY is just um, L times L plus 1 all over 2. This is derived from the arithmetic progression. Okay. So that is L times L plus 1 plus 2. So um, using this one, uh, using the this um, ex example, you'll have here 5 times 5 plus 1, substituting 5 uh, as your L all over 2. So that is 5 times 6 all over 2, then this will be equal to 15. Okay. Therefore, your remain your depreciation fraction here will become 5 over 15. That is RL, remaining life over SOY. So this is 4 over 15. This is 3 over 15. And finally, that's 1 over Okay, so that will be your um, depreciation frac uh, fraction. Now, for the depreciation, this is simply um, depreciation fraction times the depreciation base. So this will become now, um, let's say the depreciation fraction is DF. I think I forgot to put that one. DF. So this is DF. So the, for the depreciation, that will be um, db times df. So this will become five uh, times uh, five over fifteen times two hundred and twenty-five. Okay. So I I already um, solved this one uh, beforehand. So that will be uh, I can make this video shorter, and then this will become seventy-five k. Okay? You can also try it on your own. Seventy-five k. And then this is 60k, oh, sorry, this is 60k. That will become 4 over 15 times 225k. So that's db times df or depreciation base times df. Uh, depreciation base times depreciation uh, fraction. And then this will become 45, I think. Yes, 45k. And then this is 30k. And then for the last one, this is 15k. Okay, so now we can have for the um, total depreciation. So for the total depreciation, this is quite easy also. All you have to do is just um, add all of this one. Uh, not simply add, but this is 75k, right? Total depreciation, I think you already know this one. And then this will become uh, 60 plus 75k. These two, okay, these two, so you will have 135k, and then adding another 45k, that's 180k, and then 210k, and finally you will have here 225k. As you can see, if you want to check again your answer, this part, uh, the last one, must be your C O minus C L. It should always be like this. Okay. So for the book value, all you have to do is just um uh original cost minus the depreciation. Okay. So that will become two hundred fifty thousand minus um seventy five k. You will left with one hundred and seventy five k. And then next you have one hundred seventy five k minus sixty k. 
uh, he will left with 105k ah uh, 115k and then 115k minus 45k that is 70k and then next one will be um 40k and then finally of course the last one must be also your salvage value so this one must be your c so this is how you compute, uh, how you do some of your method. So we were able to find the total depreciation, the depreciation every year, which is this, I uh, know, not that one. Um, this column, okay, and then the book value every year, which is this column. Now, um, of course, you already know the table method, and again, that is quite long if the uh, if the given year if the given years or the given useful life is like 30 years or 50 years so it will take you too long to construct the table so i i already drive some formula for you to be able to find the values quite easily okay so we have the, uh, the following formula so i was able to derive this formula uh, using the arithmetic progression of from the algebra lesson so as you can see if you will look at the depreciation column uh, the first one is 75k, the second one is 60k, the first one is 75, and then to 60k, to 45, 230, to 15. As you, can, as you can see, there will be a pattern. You have to lessen uh, 15, uh, 15k and 15k, okay? You have to lessen 15k each time. So for that, I was able to uh, figure out that you, I can maybe derive the formulas using the arithmetic progression. I won't be able, I won't be uh, showing you the derivation of, of the formula. I will just show you the formula because the derivation is quite long and it will take uh, maybe around 30 minutes for this video too, uh, just for me to show the derivation. So I'm um, showing you all the formula that I was able to derive and we will also test it out if it is correct. So for the... For those formula, you'll have a dn. So dn is, is 2 times L minus N plus 1. And then all over L times L plus 1. Okay. And then for that, that will be your depreciation. For the total depreciation at year n, you will have here, that's N times 2. L minus N plus 1 and then L times L plus 1 and then of course CN is just simply um, CO minus DN. Okay, so with this, uh, using these formulas, we can try it out first. So let's try to find, um, how about D4? Let's try to find D4. Or the depreciation at the at year four. Okay, so using this formula, I will um, uh, substitute all the values. You'll have two times l is five minus n. N must be four plus one all over five times five plus one. Actually, I forgot something here. <laughs> and of course, you'll have. I forgot here, um, of course, you have to um, multiply this by the CO minus C. And then for this one also, you will have your CO minus C. Okay, sorry for that. But I hope this is clear. So you will have two times here. Um, CO will be 250K. So that is 250K minus... 25k okay how about we try it out so trying this out in the calculus supposedly the answer must be what it should be 30k okay so i'll just try it out in my calculus i hope you are also trying this at the same time with me so let's do it at the same time so that's two times times 225 okay that's 30k so this is equal to um, 30k. 
as you can see it is also the same with this one okay so let's try another one let's try d2 okay so d2 must be uh, 2 times 5 minus 2 plus 1 all over 5 times 5 plus 1 of course that's times 250k minus 25k Okay, so it must be 60k, which is, it is 60k. So this is 60k. Okay, and then if you have any question for this one, all you have to do is just leave a comment down below. So I'll be deleting this so that we can try the total depreciation formula. So um, let's try out the total depreciation formula. You'll have your D, let's say D3, okay? So for D3, so uh, this will be the one that we will be following. So we have 3 times 3 times 2 times 10. That's 2L minus 3 plus 1. That is all over 5 times 5 plus 1. Of course, this will be times 250K minus 25K. Okay, so the answer must be what? It must be 180k, but let's try it out so that we can be sure. So that's 3 times plus 1 all over 30. So 2, 5. Oh, did I got it wrong? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I made a mistake. This should be 5. Sorry about that. So this should be 5. Sorry. Okay, this should be 5. So this one should be 10 only. Okay, that's 180k. Got it right. 180k sorry about that sorry for the for that error just 180k d3 will be also this one okay so let's try how about um d4 again the total depreciation at d4 let's try <clears throat> that will be n so times 4 so that will become 2 times 5 minus 4 plus 1 all over 5 times 5 plus 1 and then times 250k minus 25k is all equal to two hundred and ten, right 210 so this is 210 So this will be your formula for some of your digit method that I was able to derive. So I think that's it for this video and I hope again that I was able to help you guys with this um, lesson. This is the third depreciation. I hope you tune in up to the final, uh, to the last depreciation method. And I also recommend you to see the first and the second one, which is the straight line method and the uh, sinking fund me method. So, I want to thank you all guys for watching. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new one. Again, thank you all guys for watching. So, keep safe everyone and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye!